Hi everyone, I'm Keith Urban. We're up to day eight in our 30 Songs in 30 Days lesson series. Today, I got the electric on because we're going to be tackling Wild Thing. You make my heart sing. We're going to wake up the neighbors with this one. If you've ever listened to those tough driving punk songs the 80s and 90s like the Ramones, Green Day, No Effects, any of those bands, you're going to hear hard charging, fast moving songs that really kick butt. Now the great thing is, most of these songs are built using one chord that simply moved up and down the fretboard. It's called a power chord. Let's go back to the bar chord that we just learned. Let's use it to make an A major chord on the 6th string, 5th fret, remember? You begin with your first finger in a bar down the 5th fret right here. And then as you can see, your third finger is on the fifth string, seventh fret, right there. Your fourth finger is underneath that on the fourth string, seventh fret, right there. And then of course you drop your second finger onto the third string, right there, sixth fret. There's your A major. Now if you look at the three lowest notes, the notes that you're playing with the tip of your first finger and your third and fourth fingers, those three notes are your power chords. That's these ones here. If you look at this, just these three. So take this one away for a little bit. Mute these strings. Don't play those, these three strings here. Here we go. That's the basic part of your power chord. To simplify it even further, we can get our pinky out of the way and flatten our third finger against the strings like this. You can do it that way. You can do it with your pinky. Whichever feels comfortable, but that's basically it. That's your power chord. And if you want, you can even do it with two strings. This one and this one. They're the basic ones. Add this in if you like. Whichever feels good to you. That's your basic power chord. If you got that, you can start moving all over the neck to create all sorts of chords. You can move quickly from here to here, which that's an A, up to B. Go C, D. That's the beauty of the power chord. It's so simple. You keep the same position distance of the strings and move around. Now, there's A. There's D. But an easy way to play it is there's A. And if you move these up two strings this way, that's D as well. And that's a little easier because it's right underneath it. Slide it up two and you've got E. There's your E right there. And back to A. You can see where we're going with this. This is how we start to get to the... <laughs> Woo! Oh yeah. I'll be calling the cops in a minute. We'll get into that a little bit later. Now I want to show a quick variation on the power chord, one that's used all through punk rock to add a real biting edge to the sound of the power chord. It's called an octave, or an octave, right there. It's basically the octave. If you've got an A, the octave is there. Now all you got to do is, if you're playing your power chord, like this, with the two notes, you're simply going to move that same finger to the fourth string, and you're not going to play the fifth string. So you mute it. This is hard to do, so take your time on this. You're playing this one here on the sixth string, and you're muting the fifth string by not pressing down all the way, if that makes sense. Push down with the 
tip of your finger there and mute the other string with the under part of your finger. Then you can place either this finger or your pinky, whichever one you're using for your power chord, on the octave, on the D string here, the fourth string. You play them together. And you get your octave power chord like that. Same thing applies. You move it all around. There you go. So let's get to our song. Wild Thing uses all the chords you already know. A, D, E, and G. But instead of playing them in the open position, we're going to use power chords today to add some drive to the song. Before we get into the first part of the power chords of the intro, there's this one cool little note. If you want to play that, it sounds pretty cool too. You simply put your third finger on the seventh fret on the third string and you bend it up just a little bit like this. <laughs> one more time like this. And you give me an A for two beats. One, two. D for two beats. E for four beats. One, two, three, four. Using power chords the whole way. So putting that all together, it's kind of like this. One, two, three, four. That's your intro. Now with the rhythm, as you can notice, I mean, you can play this a lot of different ways, but the stabbing part of the rhythm is kind of part of the song too. And if you just think in terms of the lyric at the beginning, you get wild thing. It's the best way to start that first A. Down, down. And then da da. It's a little quicker one on the D. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Count it like that. Here's the core of the song. This is, of course, the chorus. Two beats on A, two beats on D, two beats on E, two beats on D. Just like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. We'll play that four times, but with a twist, because at the end of the fourth progression, instead of going back to the D and ending there, we just do a quick progression of G, A, G, A. We'll show you that. And again, this is the great thing about playing the power chords. You can move much quicker. This is A. Slide down two for G. That way when you do that quick little G, A, G, A, it sounds like this. Yeah. One more time. We're going to throw that in at the end of the chorus. Like this. Let's play it all together. <laughs> you make my heart sing. That's it. Keep going. You make everything groove it. <laughs> wow. Here we go. And then. And then you're into the next verse. Pretty simple. Now we've got a pretty simple verse here. It's really all about hitting the A and letting it ring, because if you know the song, that's all it does. It goes, wild thing, I think I love you. <laughs> and then just hold that A, let it ring for several beats, followed by that quick progression of G, A, G, A. Right, so you go. Getting the gist of the verse right there. Wild thing, I think I love you. But I wanna know for sure. Come on, hold me tight. 
I love you. <laughs> anyway, back into the chorus again. Then you just pull it all together. Think of it again in terms of sections. The intro, next is the chorus, then the verse, another chorus, a chorus with no words, which you can solo over that. Next up, you've got a final verse, and then of course, the last chorus. Let's do it. Hey guys, we're gonna rock out with Wild Thing. Here we go. Rock and roll. Come on now, hold me tight. <laughs> 